Wow, this game has a warning against <gasps> not safe for work content. That means it's good. <laughs> At least in the minds of children, anyway. <laughs> I am so sorry. <laughs> hey everyone, it's Dental Gaffy Five here, and here we are with the let's play of Doomsday Ascending Part One. The full first parter of the game has been made, and of course, <laughs> by popular demand. Totally kidding myself. Here is a let's play of it. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. <laughs> yes, here we are, counting the chickens. <laughs> oh, that face gets me every time. Cute little Fluttershy. <laughs> what is... Questria, what's that? <laughs> Ooh, spooky! <laughs> oh, it's a beak! Hey, that wasn't bad. <laughs> Something in the wind? <laughs> Sorry, I had to. Okay, so, here we are with the full game this time. That's right, the full game this time. At least the first part of it. But that's great. And, okay, I have to admit, this took me over an hour to get right. It just, I had so many complications, it wasn't even funny. So this is now my, um, I think my fourth time playing it today. That's right, fourth time. Took me over an hour to do, but, uh, you know, completely worth it. And, um, so really, uh... That's my final verdict of the game. I'm completely satisfied. It's awesome. <laughs> do 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 do. Yes, just kindly getting out of Fluttershy's way. <laughs> yeah, and I tried to try to go for go for something different than I did last time, but oh, I just can't do it. Not to Fluttershy. <laughs> I'm a wuss. Nah, I did decide to mix it up a little bit, at least. uh... At least a little. <laughs> Cute. Um, so yeah, like I said, this took me over an hour to do. Of a few consecutive sit-throws. But, oh, like I said. Oh, oh, here we go, here we go! <laughs> this took me by surprise when I first uh, played the full version here. <laughs> Just listen. <laughs> That's right, it's the instrumental of the song! <laughs> I'm gonna sing a song for you And I'm gonna show you a thing or two <laughs> Okay, I'm not gonna sing the whole song right here. That's just gonna be silly. <laughs> but I just thought that was so awesome. So now I'm wandering around just waiting for it to be finished. <laughs> I'm so sorry, I couldn't help it. <laughs> the tune is just so catchy and... What can I say? The singing is fun. Okay, now we can go. <laughs> the shed mob references in this is just hilarious. <laughs> oh yeah, there I go, saving. Um, yeah, don't ask. <laughs> okay, and now here we are, in the Everfree Forest, yet again. And by now, I, I think I mostly know my way around it by now, you know, how to get out of here and which way to go find Applejack? Um, there are still the occasional times I slip up and go the wrong way, but for the most part, I've actually figured my way around this. I never thought that I would, but I did. <laughs> so, I also was, um, wondering how I was going to put all this together, either to make it one big full video, or to split it into parts, and um, as you can see with the length of this video, I decided to split it into two parts. I think, yeah, two parts is about right. So, I was gonna go on either until I got a game over, or if I made it over a certain obstacle. You'll see later on. And okay, for this, I decided to, <laughs> to see what would happen when I break her. And, uh, <laughs> I, I had to 
I had to cut it because I wanted this to be as safe for work as possible. <laughs> so yeah, sorry about cutting it there, but um, I will say what happened. <laughs> what happens is you see an image of, well, Rule 34. Yeah. <laughs> I laughed. Oh, well, maybe next time I'll keep it. I'll keep them all in there just to just to show you guys. <laughs> maybe we'll see. Until then, we are just going through a quote-unquote serious playthrough of the game. Oh yeah, there I go, saving again. And I think I just forgot what I did. My God, I got bad memory. All right, and here we are in the first part of town. Oops, wrong button. Hey, Dr. Hooves! <laughs> oh, is it now? <laughs> hey, Lyra! Huh? Hand! Get it? Cause, Cause they always center her around the human jokes. Especially hands. Hey, Apple Bloom. <laughs> All the silly jokes here are so... They're so obvious and everything, but yet they're just so funny. I can't help but laugh at them. <laughs> yeah, go and find yourself a new voice. Maybe Slurry will sound something like this! Or maybe something like this! I don't know what I'm doing right now, but whatever. <laughs> and so I was just exploring around a little, just for the heck of it. Cause I can, bitches! <laughs> okay, this is where I decided to get serious and keep on going. And the changeling territory. That's so cool. Ah, yes! Pokemon nostalgia! Uh, like I said in one of my other videos, I have played. <laughs> awesome. Hey, Spike! <laughs> Final scratch! <laughs> and there's Octavia, Berry Punch, Bon Bon, and, uh, um, I don't know who that is. I don't know if that's Twinkle Shine or Sparkler. And then again, I don't even know what Twinkle Shine looks like. I'm sorry! I don't know some of the names! I really don't! Hell, I was even surprised when. Colgate was refer referenced as Minuet. <laughs> yeah, some call her Colgate, others say Minuet, so I got confused with that one some time ago. <laughs> yeah, seriously. <laughs> Looks like they can teleport. Seriously. Ponies can teleport! Well, unicorns can. Hey, Scootaloo! Okay, now we're going to get Fluttershy. Uh-oh. What's happened? <gasps> Fluttershy. As I was playing this part, I got so inspired, I just had this narration in mind. And I'm going to say it for you right now, right to this image. The gravity of the situation was upon them now, as they mourned the loss of their fallen friend, the tragic death of Fluttershy. They looked anywhere they could, anywhere but at the spot where Fluttershy's cottage once stood. Pinkie Pie was sobbing softly, as tears flowed freely from her cheeks. Fluttershy's name escaped her lips over and over again for the past couple of minutes. Neither one discouraged her from doing so. Applejack's gaze was downcast as she removed her hat from her head, placing it over her chest and closing her eyes. Twilight Sparkle sat on her haunches, completely at loss of what to do or even what was going on. She could not believe that this... this thing 
had gotten to Fluttershy before they did, and did away with her. She was grateful, however, that Fluttershy's suffering had ended, and only hoped that this creature had been merciful with her, letting her die quickly and painlessly. The most stricken of them all, however, was Rainbow Dash, her eyes glued right to the spot where the remains of Fluttershy's cottage now lay. If any pony looked at her then, including her friends, they would simply think that she was stricken with shock. Her eyes were wide, her jaw was dropped, and she was unable to move or to speak. No pony would ever think that she was ready to burst into tears at any given moment. This was the case, deep within the recess of her mind, where no pony else could see or hear. Rainbow Dash was not about to cry or break down in front of her friends. Not like this. She had to be strong, for all of them, for herself, and for Fluttershy. This was not the time to get sappy and act like a crybaby. It was only within her mind that Rainbow allowed herself to cry. She could not believe that she had just lost her best friend, her friend from Phillyhood, without even having a chance to say goodbye. It had happened so fast, to which Rainbow could not comprehend. How did such a thing happen so fast? Her mind was blown, her heart was shattering, her walls were falling. Already she missed Fluttershy. They always said that you never knew what you had until it was gone. That felt all too true. Rainbow berated herself then, admonishing herself on how she could have been a better friend to her, could have been there for her a lot more. But when danger came, where was she? Rainbow Dash felt like a failure. She couldn't even protect her own best friend, something she had always vowed to do. Protecting Fluttershy was just something she did ever since Phillyhood, and now she couldn't even protect her from some creature that killed her. This was even worse than her anxiety during the Best Young Flyers competition. This was worse than anything she had ever felt in her entire life, tenfold. Fluttershy's name escaped her lips under her breath as a single tear rolled down her cheek, unseen to every pony else. If you were willing to indulge me, I'll admit one thing. <laughs> I came up with that right on the spot when I was trying to make this recording here, and I decided to, hey, give it a little shot here, you know? It was kind of why I had them standing there like that for a while. It was just too perfect, really. <sighs> oh, if you've seen the previous videos, <laughs> I think you know exactly what's happening and what's going to happen. Yes! Fluttershy's alive! Woohoo! Huh. And there was much rejoicing. <laughs> it's gone. Well, wherever that thing is. <laughs> oh, yeah. Don't go in there, you guys. <laughs> or she'll saw you in half. Oh, gosh. I love that joke. <laughs> Okay, so now our ponies are off to Canterlot. Right to the capital. Or I suppose it's the capital city. Sorry about the background noise there, folks. Um, anytime I try to record, it just... Yeah. All that background noise gets in while I'm playing. And, I, and plus, I'm not exactly in the best place right now. Anyway, this is a pretty touching scene here. I mean, not only was it, you know, very heartwarming and sentimental, but it was also, well, very intrinsic to their characters, I gotta say. Say all that they were doing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh gosh, I love Rainbow Dash's shade. <laughs> yeah, that would happen. <laughs> Even if Rainbow won't admit it, she feels the same, Twilight. Don't worry. <laughs> and here we are again, Sensia. Back in town, and there's skeletons all around. <sniffs> yeah, sorry, that wasn't me sniffling out of sadness. That was uh, my allergies. <laughs> Although, to be honest, uh, just about every time I play through some of these scenes, I actually start to get a little teary-eyed. And, well, the sad music doesn't help either. Actually, the first time I played, that was the first place I went into, just to see, and then I see that thing there, and I'm just wondering, okay, what's going on? But you'll see. Just watch. Yep. 
Somebody else was in there with her. It is her master. Her lord and master! <laughs> Sorry, I had to. Planet. You know, that does strike a little debate as to whether or not Equestria is simply the country that they live in, or an entire planet. It It's never explicitly stated either. Um, I don't know. I think it's a country, but I, I wouldn't rule it out completely. I mean, I know it's a planet because, well... One does not achieve wisdom or experience by simply staying alive. My kind live for billions of years, and yet you can see before you the rash actions of the select few. The ideal of wisdom comes from learning from one's mistakes, and also by planning to have many more in the future. Do not fret over failure. Failure is how we grow. I love that scene there entire snowy landscape was just beautiful. I don't know where that voiceover comes from, but what he says is so true, really. A really, really interesting little philosoph philosophical statement. Oh, we're now in Canterlot! And this music is... <laughs> yes, it's that music at the gala. <laughs> and there's Trixie. Hi, Trixie. I can't interact with any pony. Oh well, who cares? Hey, look, there's Dairy Do. The last time I played, uh, I saw her and I was just completely shocked. <laughs> and, and the last time I played, well, like I said, the first time I played, sorry. The first time I played, I didn't see her. The second time, I didn't. But last time, I did, and this time, I did, and... <laughs> Daring do! That's so funny! I'm surprised Rainbow Dash didn't do an excited happy dance. Hey, there's Derpy! I swear, Derpy can teleport! <laughs> Watch. <gasps> I don't know why Anakin's there, but I think he just sums up my expression right there. Mm. How dare you, Hasbro! <laughs> ooh, ooh, here's my favorite part of the song! Going into the castle. Off to see Princess Celestia. Oh yeah, save me real quick. We're going upstairs, up to the throne room. Pony guards. And there she is! Princess Celestia. Fluttershy while you're a Sensia. <laughs> now I'm curious as what Fluttershy would have said. Oh well. <laughs> the Helements of Armory! Sorry. <laughs> Princess Luna! Hmm, I wonder if she means we as in the two of them or is still using the royal we. Funny story about that. I I never knew about the war royal we before before it was introduced here in uh, Luna Eclipse. Yeah, my little pony taught me about the royal we because ah! I looked it up and it's true. <laughs> That's so awesome. Anyway, back to the story. Oh oh yeet! I love this song. Sorry, <laughs> didn't mean to fat girl there. But yeah, this day Aria is pretty much. Well, the song I listen to the most, and it's just awesome. Oh, 
Here we go, here we go. The battle against Princess Celestia and Princess Luna. Oh goodness, here we go. Oh, we're in for it now, aren't we? Yeah, the first couple of times, I actually got a couple game overs. The first time I played, I mean, since then I've managed to uh, get a better grasp of uh, how it all works here, and uh, so far it's been pretty good. Actually, last time I actually managed to defeat uh, Princess Luna first, and then left with Celestia, who... Oh, I don't know if I should spoil that for you guys, but, um... But here I, yeah, end up having to finish off Luna. After I defeat Princess Celestia. <laughs> oh my gosh, her voice acting is just awesome. thing about the show that's just awesome. It's the voice acting. Definitely. And, uh, <laughs> and I have to say, wow, Tapas' remains range with the character she does is really, really awesome. What say you do? I can protect my subjects from you. I, of course, can't ignore Nicole Oliver as Princess Celestia. It's awesome. Oh! Sorry, don't mean to gush. <laughs> In the middle of the heated battle, My subjects from you. Oh yeah, here's what happens when you defeat one. Oh yeah. Okay, if I had a favorite line from Luna, it's definitely that. It's awesome. I can't stop saying awesome. We strike her down, she shall become stronger than ever. Or however that line goes, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm almost surprised she didn't turn into nightmare mode, but then again, this makes a lot more sense.
I am a sentient and I am powerful! <laughs> okay, so this is, um, where I'm gonna stop for now. Make a quick save and, uh, all that. So, um, next time on, uh, the next of my last play of Doomsday Ascending, we shall complete part one! Well, part one of the game.